Lesson 1 Nature and Effects of Gateway Drugs In this lesson, you will explain the nature and effects of gateway drugs. You will also answer this question. Why should adolescents avoid using gateway drugs? But before we start, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let's find out in this lesson, you will be able to do the following, identify products with caffeine. Explain the concept of gateway drugs. Describe the general effects of the use of caffeine, tobacco, and alcohol. Let's go which of the following contains caffeine. Were you able to guess it right? If you choose coffee, that is correct. If you choose the tea or the soft drinks, those are also correct. Let us go and learn more if you want to know why. You may think that these are unimportant choices that adults make every day. However, it is these simple decisions that define them as an adult. In the end, the responsible adults choose what is best for their health so that they live better, healthier lives. They understand why they are choosing one item over another even if all products are actually nearly the same. Nature of gateway drugs A drug is any substance that changes bodily functions. A gateway drug is a drug that is thought to lead to the use of more dangerous drugs. Examples of gateway drugs are caffeine, tobacco, and alcohol. These are readily available, but sold only to adults. Effects of gateway drugs Caffeine Aside from coffee, tea, and soft drinks, there are other products that also contain caffeine such as iced tea, energy drinks, and even cocoa-like chocolate. Caffeine is a drug because it affects the body. When adults drink or eat products that contain caffeine, they feel more alert or awake because it is a stimulant drug that affects their brain and central nervous system, as well as the heart, blood vessels, and kidneys. A small amount of caffeine makes the user refreshed and focused. Occasional eating of a slice of chocolate or drinking a sports drink is not substance abuse. However, a high dose of caffeine also triggers the release of stress hormones, which results to an increased heart rate and blood pressure. While there are similar products that do not contain caffeine like decaffeinated coffee, caffeine-free sodas and teas, and other non-caffeinated drinks, remember that these are also empty calorie food. There are other food and drinks that can give the most nutritional value without affecting the body's fluid balance. Tobacco next to caffeine, another stimulant is nicotine, which is contained in every tobacco. Smoking constricts blood vessels, which decreases skin temperature, since it acts as a stimulant in the heart and nervous system, and adult experiences an increase in heartbeat and blood pressure. There are also changes in the brain that may lead to addiction. There is a decrease in the blood's ability to carry oxygen in other parts of the body because of the carbon monoxide in the tobacco smoke. Aside from nicotine, the smoke from the tobacco also contains FAR, a cancer-causing agent. Smokeless tobacco is available for adults, but these have the same effect as tobacco which they smoke. Tobacco users who cannot get enough of their habit will soon suffer from dark teeth, which results to bad breath, oral cavities, and even receding gums. 3. Alcohol Alcohol is a psychoactive drug that depresses the central nervous system. Alcohol makes the user relaxed and mellow, but it also impairs brain activity and affects control of muscles, coordination, memory, reaction time, judgment, and the senses. The person's speech slurred, his vision becomes impaired, and his hearing dampened. Heart rate and blood pressure increase and body temperature decreases. The kidneys increase the production of urine and the person loses more than the usual amount of water from the body. Too much alcohol may also cause vomiting. There are also changes in the behavior. Drinkers who are serious become silly or one who is shy becomes talkative. After that, they do not recall what they said or done. They also experience headaches, dizziness, and an upset stomach. How do gateway drugs affect its users? Why drink and smoke? Knowing these facts should prompt adults to stop taking caffeine, tobacco, and alcohol so that they will not suffer from its undesirable effects. Unfortunately, a lot of adults still ignore these warnings. There are also adolescents who try them even though they know they are far from turning 18. They carry the bad habit until they are adults. Sadly, they only stop when too much damage has already been done to their body. 
People take advantage of gateway drugs because of different reasons. Some are curious, so they try new things despite the risks. Some think it will make them look cool or feel like a grown-up. Others try it because of peer pressure. They think that whatever one of their friends does, everyone in the group should do it too to be fair. There are a few who do it because they just like being rebellious. On the other hand, some use these substances as a way of coping with their everyday problems such as feeling angry, sad, or anxious. Whichever reasons people have in using these substances, you need to know the facts plus develop the right behavior and attitude toward it so that you will prevent and control yourself from using and abusing it. Gateway drugs is one of the challenges that you will face in adolescence. Will you be smart enough to refuse it? Will you be gullible enough to use it, then regret it later?